Hello friends, in this tutorial we are going to learn how to build a simple REST API to manage our WordPress website. Through this endpoint we will be fetching all the posts JSON format. We are going to be fetching a single post. We are going to fetch comments, categories, tags, images. Also we are going to search for certain keywords in our WordPress website. Uh, currently you can see I have two WordPress websites open and if we want to uh, get data for uh, any WordPress website we can get it by simply writing forward slash WP JSON in front of our website. So this is how we make sure that this is a WordPress website and its endpoint can be created. So if we want to fetch data from, for example, Muslimic makers, we are going to be creating this REST API endpoint in NoCode API. And in NoCode API, in the marketplace, we have WordPress integration available to us. So to start building this API, we are going to log in to NoCode API's dashboard, enter our email, password, and click login. We will reach the dashboard and in dashboard, look for WordPress in marketplace. Click on this button and then make WordPress API. Give your WordPress API a name. For example, we want to fetch data from Summit Makers. And in this endpoint, we are going to be entering uh, forward slash WP dash JSON and then click create. This is going to create our WordPress API. If we want to test how this is working, we can click on use this API to open the playground and here in get posts, then click and test this API. After it was run, we are going to see all our posts listed in an array and each post has some ID. Uh, it has the important information, the content properly uh, formatted HTML, which we can embed on our own website. We can have uh, the author links, categories, all the important information which is there inside each array item if we want to fetch a single item we can do that also by writing the posts id and here i can you can see that this is 903 this is the id of the post and uh, it is published it is uh, having some content and all the important information is there if we want to get the categories of all the pages we can do that from forward slash categories keyword and here we see that there is uh, case studies then there are category impact report if we want to fetch the tags we can do that also by making a request to forward slash tags if we want to fetch the name of the pages we can do that by attaching forward slash pages to our base url this is a page id if we want to open it in our browser we can do that so this is uh, going to open the team page and uh, in its name is team its status is published it has a link also so all the information about the team is listed over here and there is meta information also there are links so you can see we can fetch all the pages which are there in our WordPress website from get pages URL. If we want to fetch the comments people have left on our WordPress website, we can list them through get comments. Currently there are no comments placeholder on this website. That's why we did not find any. If we want to fetch the media, all the images, uh, the videos, the documents, all the information, about the media we can use get media endpoint and here we can see that it is a screenshot so that's how we can fetch the media and if we want to search for certain keyword we can do it through search keyword endpoint and it is only going to attach forward slash search to our base url and in query parameter i'm going to give a name for example report so this is how I can search for certain keywords in my entire WordPress website. So this is it. If you have any queries, you can reach us by clicking on the support button. We will be happy to help you out. Thank you for watching. Goodbye.